This is Nexus Edge, and now your hosts, Jinxie Cat and Dax. Hello, esteemed Nexus Edge viewers. Welcome to the show, the show that helps you get an edge on your competition. I'm, of course, Jinxie Cat, and with me for so far one week, I haven't yeeted him off a cliff, is Dax. We're coming to you live for episode one. I believe we lovingly named it, ah, God, because we couldn't think of what to call the notes. Season 10, so excited to talk about it as we're finally getting some matches in, some other stuff going on. How are you doing, Dax? I am doing well. We need a counter of how many uh, weeks I have not been yeeted off of uh, said cliff, uh, but I'm good. I uh, just got home from work, ready to sit down, talk some uh, hots with everybody here, and uh, just kind of did you know, just dig right in. Yeah, definitely. So without further ado, why don't we talk about Key's Storm Division hot match of the week? And you better call it Storm Division, gosh darn it. <laughs> Storm Division. <laughs> Storm Division. I got I'm just gonna, gonna build up that uh I was that habit. That you're gonna say like Storm League and then I'm gonna say Storm League and then like Murda's gonna like yell at me too. <laughs> No, I'll just I'll I'll fall I'll fall on that bridge or that knife or dagger or whatever they say. <laughs> we go down, we go down together. All right. So game that Key has picked this week is uh VGM versus Team Alexander. So those of you who did watch our qualifier one, they were our two finalists who showed off and everyone kind of thought up until then that Team Alexander were the uh the folks to be it you know they're the uh xhgc koreans and you the, the other team you know na lol and we actually saw a really dominant 2-0 from from vgm so how, how are you feeling about this upcoming rematch dax what do you think uh i like rematches you know and i'll just jump to the end there i need i know key has a prediction for us here with this one um you know a lot of recognizable names you know i liked mm -hmm. Uh, Tempo Storm was one of my favorites in HGC. Uh, mm -hmm. So seeing Cattle and other players like Tiger JK on VGM, it just kind of right. makes me want to vote, you know, cheer on for that, you know, NA Arrow Pogs. Right. Um, <laughs> but, you know, at the same time, like I love this, the story of the rematch and seeing if Team Alexander can kind of maybe get a little bit synergy, uh, a little mm -hmm. bit more synergized within, you know, doing these different scrims and stuff like that and, yeah. uh, and then really bring it week one. Yeah, you know, I, I see the, the the prediction there that Team Alexander is gonna gonna take it, but I, I think I have to disagree in, in my own humble opinion, uh, just because I don't, I don't I think Team Alexander might play a little bit too safe. I did get to cast a couple of matches of or them with some other teams from Korea on Korea actually, and one of the things that like worked really well for them as both teams were so careful and calculated and the fact that, you know, they just, they never team fought. They waited for the perfect opportunity and then they went in and it was very much relying on their opponent to make a mistake. And obviously the perfect opportunity doesn't always happen. You know, sometimes you just gotta go in and make the play. And I think that's where VGM really excels. And, you know, maybe it is kind of like, Oh, the you know they're they're the 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 uncouth hots players, for lack of a better word, that they're just uh they're gonna go in like a bunch of cowboys and make it a a rough and tumble, and I I don't know that the team Alexander is gonna be able to hold up to that. Like it's a very different style of heroes. No, you know what? That makes sense. We can get some cool, you know, cool story bobs in the chat. But you know that kind of the way you're describing these two teams, it, it kind of reminds me of how, like, you know, the the states became, you know, in the Revolutionary War, how the, or, <laughs> you know, they had like the the Apache warfare where they were, you know, mm -hmm. in the in the woods and stuff like that, while England mm -hmm. and British were like lining up just shooting at each other and that's what they were good at um and right. then you know swung that favor so you know it could be for you know na and doing that with you know not being so calculated and forcing team fights when you know necessarily maybe team alexander doesn't want it it's not the proper time um right. and maybe that that could carry over into the second matchup here yeah so we'll just uh have to see so i think going forward i know this isn't the where we pick them pick them but for the hot match of the week who are you voting for dax i'm gonna be a homer this time and i'm gonna i'm gonna vote for vgm gaming all right me too so sorry team alexander i feel kind of bad about that because i remember i went to blizzcon 2018 which you know was the last uh hgc uh event that blizzard yeah held out for yeah and it was uh who was it team like no not team liquid 
Dignitas. It was Dignitas and yeah. it was God Gen G, I think is who they were at the time. They changed their name like nine times. Um and there was like an interview with the guys on Gen G and they were like, We're always very excited to make it to BlizzCon, but it always kind of sucks because we um we wish just once that the North American crowd or the Western crowd would call out our names because we always win and they're always looking to see our downfall. And, and sometimes it really sucks just because they're not choosing, you know, to, to cheer for us. They always want us to lose. And I was like, oh, that's really sad. I'm still not going to cheer for them, but that's sad. Damn. I mean, I have no problem being the bad guy. Like, you know, right. uh, being a Sith Lord, I'm all about it. Like I would be, I would ride, ride that horse into the sunset mm -hmm. each and every time. Like I would show up to gladly disappoint that crowd. Right, and like, like everyone cheered, and they were like, "Woohoo!" Like, "Yay!" Didn't she won? And I'm like, "I ain't clapping." Like, I didn't want them to win, <laughs> but I'm like a really salty fan, so you know. Oh yeah, it gets real competitive, and you know, unfortunately <laughs> for me, I came a little too late. Like, I like I kind mm -hmm. of started watching uh, and getting into hots right about that time, and then mm -hmm. well, I was excited about the next season, 2019. Unfortunately, you know, it never happened. So uh, I'm just really excited. We got Storm Division here coming up, and I can kind of uh, maybe catch on to that little bit of that fire here. Right. Yeah. So well, we'll have to see. So, so the, the the edge report right now. I guess that's, that's what we'll call it. We're, we're voting for VGM. Um, love to hear you guys in chat what you think, why you think, uh, so I can invalidate your opinion and still cheer for VGM. We but... can tell you why you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> at me at Twitter. I'll fight you mm -hmm. in the McDonald's parking lot. Um... That's too highbrow for me. Make it a Denny's. <laughs> we'll fight any time of the day. <laughs> Today um... I learned McDonald's is higher brow than Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so transitioning away from that, we talked a little bit about some of our segments last week and we're super excited to bring you guys a couple of them this week. And the first one I want to talk to you about is my personal baby. And that is the stonks segment. So if any of you guys have ever watched that other MOBA with the minions and the, uh, really long lane that takes 45 minutes to get a kill, yeah. you might know that they have a stock market as well. And we want to do something kind of similar. So if you look over to uh on my screen it's on the right whatever it is for you guys i think it's like my on screen left but there is a graph that i've put together and since none of these storm division games have actually happened yet uh, i've just made kind of an example for you guys but dax and i are going to be competing in a stock market challenge kind of and you guys are well more than encouraged to play at home i would love to see you know what you guys are betting on who you think is going to win that kind of stuff uh but I've composed a list here of what I believe that the month is going to look like. And you can't really see the teams on the graphic right now, but you can see there are eight different lines, eight different colors. Those are what the teams are looking like. And I've come up with an algorithm that is super secret and very scientific that I, I'm not going to share because, you know, super secret scientific. Don't want those boys in the LCS stealing my, 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 my smart knowledge. Uh, but I can tell you guys a little bit about how the game is going to play. And I think Dax, this is your first time hearing the explanation as well. Yeah. Um, each team we're starting out at just a hundred dollars. You want to buy a stock in, I don't know, like VGM or team Exodia or, uh, regen, it's hundred bucks. Uh, we're each going to have a thousand dollars. And I, I think I, I called them like Ed's dollars or whatever. So you too can have a thousand dollars from me right now. Like I'm, I'm giving that to you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. And you are very welcome. Don't spend it all in one place. The oh, way that it's going to work is, as I've seeded the team, just based on how well they did in the qualifiers, one through eight. And I've, I've come up with a little algorithm that anytime a team wins against a higher level team. So like, let's say uh, in this upcoming match, VGM versus Team Alexander, we have, or I think the example I have here is, is VGM versus regen regen i put in six vgm i put in one because obviously uh if regen were to like come out the water blow away vgm and win they their stocks would increase by 60 bucks so when me and dax meet next week if we wanted to buy stocks in regen because they're looking really well it's going to cost 160 bucks and that being said if you lose to a lower seated team you are going to get a stock value decrease five times the team's seed. So in the example of VGM and 
uh, regen. Obviously, regen is six, six times five is 30. So the new stock price for VGM would be 70 just because there is such a large discrepancy there. And obviously, it's going to get a little bit weirder. You know, you have stocks going up and down by five or $10 because we're having team one take on team two or team four take on team five, that kind of stuff. And we're just going to play it. And I'm going to keep track of me and Dax. But if you guys want to play and, you know, you want to tell me how you're doing, then um, you can um, play at home, like, and if you're, you know, kicking me in Dax's butt and you want to, like, come to chat and be like, ha ha, like, you guys thought that the other Koreans were going to be so bad and then you bought stocks and I have them all and, like, now I have, a, you know, a trillion dollars and you guys have four. Like, I, I would love to hear it. Come, come crap talk finances at me. So that's pretty much it for that. Uh, what do you think, Dax? Any questions? Any teams you're looking at? I know I just like dumped a bunch of information. Uh, no, you know, it's just I'm wondering the strategy. Do I spread it out? Do I dump all the money in one team? Do I hold some for, you know, future? It's, I don't know. It's, mm -hmm. it's math and I'm not good at it. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when, <laughs> when I came to everybody with this and I was like, I want to put this together. I want to do this. Everyone was like, why? Like, that sounds like so much more. Are you a statistics teacher? You nerd? Hey, that's nothing wrong with it. It's I, I love it. The graph looks good. I like the idea. Um, but yeah, it's oh, I don't know. It's just choices. Uh, yeah, I see mm -hmm. some <laughs> uh, buying some bears, bull and bear markets, and murders <laughs> in the chat trying to talk us into buying stuff. But uh, right, yeah, I don't know. I mean, uh, did you want to go first? I'll let you go. Gladly go first. Oh, oh, we gonna pick them right now? Like, I'm definitely down. Oh, I thought I thought right. we yeah, I wasn't sure if we were or not if we were just going over it. I uh, we can definitely look at some right now, and I think I am going to. I mean, I don't want to spend like my whole. Maybe let's 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 do five hundred bucks, five stocks. We'll do right now. That that's uh, okay. All um, right. so five hundred bucks. I think I'm going to take. Uh, uh, I'm gonna take two in VGM. I need to note this down somewhere. I can do is do it in our so so two in VGM. I'm gonna do one in Alexander. And gosh, one more, one more, or two more. This is like the hard part. Uh, I'm gonna do Team Exodia. I'm gonna take one in them. If and only then, you had a producer then, that was writing us all this down for you. Wow, that's really helpful. Thanks, Ominous Voice. I, I'm actually not oh, writing it God. down. I was just saying, if only if you did. That's all. Just let you know. Oh, yeah, that would be really convenient. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm going to take a sleeper pick, and I, I will put one in regen. So that, that's going to be me. Man, you're all over the board here, Jinx. I know. Hmm. All right, let's see what I want to do then. If only Dax had the entire time that Jinxie was making picks to make his own picks in his head. I was listening. I am a great listener. You are uh, a very great listener. <laughs> no, you know what? I kind of want to do the opposite, and I just kind of want to uh, spread it out through. So let's put – I want to put 200 in CPOG X. All right. And then let's do hmm, – CMN. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm uh, That's Chili Mountain. Okay, yeah, let's do, let's put uh, 200 in Chili Mountain. All right. And then I will do one in Regen. One so in Regen. So my regen. strat here is I got at least CPOG X in the middle of the graph, middle of the road, and then maybe mm -hmm. put some down in here uh, to maybe get some higher returns uh, off yeah. of these ones. Well, they look good. And like we saw from Storm Division, like it's anyone's game really right now uh i think it's gonna be really cool i think it's gonna be lots of fun and that's why i made the highs the high and the lows not so bad because i, I think it's really gonna be a dog fight throughout the entire season i know some people disagree but that, that's just my prediction usually i'm wrong but you know maybe, this might be the one time like 29 2020 is, is a crazy year for everybody I'm yeah, I'm bad at picking everybody. So hopefully I'm not like the curse and these teams that I've put in some money on uh, go out there and win. Uh, I have all of my utmost faith in you. All right. Well, good luck. And I look forward to beating you very badly. Uh, but, you know, you know the, me talking, I'm going to talk like all snack, like all season and be like, oh, you're getting stomped. And then you're going to come back and just like blow me away. And I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. You're gonna, I'll make you eat something at Denny's, apparently. Oh, no! <laughs> uh, the truest Denny's. form of punishment. 
Oh, yes. man. Whoever loses has to order an omelet hand. for Denny's. Yeah. Uh, moon's over my hand. Or it's called. Oh, there we go. The torture right. stream. So I think I know we didn't talk about this beforehand, but we are we do have the pick 'em segment next, and I'm gonna I'm gonna mm. try to I'm gonna walk us through that so that the two okay. of you can make the picks and go from there. But do you want to introduce the segment real quick, Jinxie or Dax? Uh, why don't you take this one, Dax? I just talked at everybody for ten minutes straight. <laughs> sure, absolutely. All right. So coming up this season, we want to do some pickums. Uh, get away from maybe like the you know the tier list of the different divisions and the different teams. Uh, and what we want to do is just like a weekly pickum. We're going to rotate through the divisions, try and get you know every other two weeks, just try and get into uh all the divisions across the board. Uh, and just kind of also compete against each other. Um, with maybe, you know, besides the stock market game, just maybe just picking a straight up lineup. Um, and right. then it's just going to be a running tally throughout the rest of the season and, uh, and to see who has the better record at the end of it all. And, you know, feel free chat. You guys want to jump in this, uh, you know, it's just real simple and easy. We'll have this, uh, I'm sure we could probably put it in the discord if people just wanted to, uh, follow along line house. I'm not sure if that's something we could do. Like that. Um, way just have it and save it I themselves. think so. I'll have to take a look. I think so. We should be able to yeah. put it somewhere. It is just a, a Google Doc. So um, one thing, yeah, I don't know if you so mentioned it. I out. was also looking at uh, some, um, you know, OBS things. We are switching between, we have a set rotation of divisions that you will be. You two will be picking from each week, right? So week one, yes. as we're showing up here, will be Heroic, B, Northeast, Southeast, and West. Mm-hmm. Placement makers, why did you do that so very much? There's so many Bs. Anyway, uh, D East and D West as well will also be on this one. Next week, we'll have A East, A West, C East, C West, and E. So I have randomly picked matches. Uh, Jinxie and Dax actually did not see this at all before uh, the, the, the show. So they actually are going to have to make these picks on the fly. And I'm pretty sure they have heavily researched every single team in NGS. So this will be super simple for them to make picks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like since the last show, I've just been, you know, like running the numbers, crunching them, putting them through my algorithm to seed everybody. Obviously. It's very scientific. <laughs> well, geez, can I borrow that? I, I just sat with a, a pencil and some paper and just wrote down the names. <laughs> Um, I wonder if we could, if people want to play along, they could always post us in the edge tastic, um, mm -hmm. segment or the edge segment of the NGS mm -hmm. discord too, if people want, cause mm -hmm. there's, these are the picks right here. I think most of them, I don't think any match happens today, but I could be wrong. Anyway, week one. So ho the heroic match sky five versus Phoenix rising Topaz. Who do the two of you got? We'll start with Jinxie on this first one. Oh gosh. Um, I think I'm going to give it to Phoenix Rising Topaz because I don't really know anybody on the team there. It's a bunch of new blood. And uh, I remember when I went from like, I, I raised up in Division when I was in Division A, getting uh, go going from B to A was kind of a rude awakening. And I, I feel like Sky 5 might have, uh, might, might, might have something similar. Not to say there's anything against them, but... Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, and actually, I this will be the first one, and uh, I will go against you, and I'm going to pick Sky Five. Um, I think there is something to say. I completely agree with you that probably jumping up in divisions is a little bit different, um, but I think there's something mm -hmm. to be said for teams that have played uh, together longer, um, mm -hmm. and I think that synergy could maybe pay off for them here in the, the first game of their season. Uh, Dax, does it change your mind at all that my ex teammate Snag is playing for Sky Five because he is the greatest feeder on tank known to man to humankind, and I believe he's playing this that week. May... Oh, oof! Unlucky. I'm, just... no, I'm going Snag. I, if you're in the chat, I, got, I have faith. I have faith. In man. <laughs> I Sky Five. Sky. Oh, well, there, there you go. Meet, meet uh, Jinxie oh. at the Denny's. All right, but all right, I fam. In the chat, over under. Four and a half deaths average game per snag tomorrow. I want to see. Anyway, uh, next match B Northeast Die Gaming versus Death and Delay. Dax will have you pick first for this one. Oh, this one, let's see. Oh, goodness. Uh, let me let me look at my algorithm here. Uh, <laughs> no, um, I'm gonna go with uh, Die Gaming. I think, uh, 
uh, again, I think it's just one of those teams that have been around. Um, I think they're coming into their second or third season here. Um, and I'm just going to go. That's that's my theme here is, uh, you know, synergy and some of these uh, mm-hmm. these teams that have been around. That's Those are the ones I'm going with. I realized I was going to make my pick based off of uh, the the fact that they played in Storm Division, but that's not the team that I'm thinking of. So now that all that uh, calculation has been thrown out the window, gosh. Um, I'm going to pick Death and Delay just because Dax picked Die Gaming. Like, and that's it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> that's, how we, that's how we write a story. Uh, let's just do this. All right, then. Moving on to B, Southeast. Mm-hmm. Two calculated to throw versus Death Web. And we'll go with Jinxie first pick. Okay, so this is a team that I was thinking of. So I'm going to give it to Death Web. They were in Storm Division. Um, they didn't get completely spanked. And I think playing against those pros, they might they might have learned a couple of things. So that's my vote. Uh... Okay. You know what? That's not too bad. I know calcul- two calculated two throw has been around uh, for a bit, but I actually will go with you on this one, Jinxie, and I think Death Web will get their uh, first victory uh, in week one. To be fair, it's everyone's first victory in week one, regardless of what team you yeah. are. Well, they'll be getting their first victory. They're not, they don't have to wait till weeks two or three. They will be getting their first victory <laughs> in week one. Uh, <laughs> all right, then. B West, Spooky Ghosts versus Better Than Bots. Dax, you're up. Uh, I casted a couple of games of both of these teams uh, last season. Uh, I know better than bots was doing some, I believe some scrims and in-houses with CCS. Uh, and I think they're still doing fairly well that I think I'm going to lean hard into on better than bots in this one. Okay. Jinxie. And I think, I'm going to go for Spooky Bogos, the same reason I voted for Death Web. Also, I did get to cast them, and they put, like, cute messages at the beginning of every one of their uh, games before they go on. So, you know, they, they have my vote for that. Well, I mean, if we ever make it up here, but at the beginning of every match that I'm in, I make sure that uh, the cat is puking into Upside Down Murky. So I think that's kind of cute. Oh, mine is always Dino. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, I was going to say, no, go, go for it. Uh, my, mine's always uh, Dino Fight Hero Spinner. So, like, the little Dahaka is spinning the wheel. That's my favorite. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> All right. Uh, D East. I Must Feed versus Team Banshee. And I believe Jinxie's up this time. All right. Um, Again, very scientific. I'm going to go for I Must Feed. Because I like Morganus better than Sylvanas. <laughs> I love it. Oh, uh, I, if that's the case, I gotta pick. I gotta pick T Banshee. I'd like Malgatus could kick rocks. Like we will. Let's get the uh, you know <laughs> Sylvanas up in here. Sylvanas did nothing wrong. I am a simp for Sylvanas. Put it in the chat. Oh, let's oh. go, oh, Team Banshee. Okay, all right, I'm I'm voting to yeet Dex right now for saying Sylvanas. <laughs> yeah. No, the tree deserved it. <laughs> They were first. just like children and like shop owner. What is going on right now? See the Savannas in the fact that you defend Savannas is why the Horde are the bad guys in what World of Warcraft, and people who say otherwise are just wrong and delu- delusional. Well, oh, I'm delusional then. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last one. D West. Clouded Minds versus Knights That Stay Bronze. I'd like to know I picked this match purely because of the the, the team name Knights That Stay Bronze because I love it. <laughs> that, that's, that's such a, a good really team good name. name. I gotta see who's on uh, I'm just gonna Dax is first quick. pick on this one. Duke and I, thank you very much for the subscription. I just want to see who's on this team. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go with the Knights. Like, this, is, this one's torn. Like, uh, I'm going to probably get flamed. Uh, because I'm friends with everybody on Clouded Minds. They're a great team. They've been around for a long time. Uh, you know, Tetcher is now, I believe, on that team. A couple roster shakeups. Uh, love him as well. But um, seeing the team here, uh, Matlock, uh, another good friend of mine, uh, on Knights at Stay Stop, Bronze, stop go hedging. Just him. make your pick. <laughs> I already said Knights at Stay Bronze. I, I got to <laughs> go with it. I got to go with it. All right. And Zingzi? I'm going to go with Knights because my boyfriend's on the other team and he feeds. I love it. All right. So, <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, we'll, we'll keep track of these going forward, and we'll see who's who comes out on top after week one. We do have some differentiating opinions here in most of these matches. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, oh, I will be in your chat making okay. sure these teams uh, don't lose. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think that just about does it for us. We've got a couple more minutes if uh, you want to take it away, Dax. I know we were, we were talking a little bit about the patch notes. Um, sure. Yeah, patch patch went live today. Uh, you know, Gaslow and Diva Reworks, uh, they will be banned in league play for the next two weeks. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, don't want to touch too heavily on it because things will probably get adjusted here or there uh, over that time. But, you know, the biggest thing is, is um, you know, the, the Gladiators medallion. Uh, mm -hmm you know, uh, coming in, you know, everybody gets the cleanse. Um, right. so, so something to look out for, as far as I know, I said, it's, it's still it, games happening today. It's good to go today. Um, mm -hmm. but I think if it goes over well, I mean, it's a five minute cooldown in mm -hmm. theory, you may get two or three uses out of it in an entire game. I don't think it's mm -hmm. too powerful. It's not going to like, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to make games go a little bit longer because within the first, you know, what games average 24 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. Yeah. And then you're not going to maybe use it within that first minute. So I think you're looking right. at three. Um, but I think it's a way, if, if this goes over well, kind of like the, the orbs, we could see maybe mm -hmm. different things. I know if we talked a little bit about um, maybe some summoner spells uh, getting added to the game, maybe removing a lot of these uh, generic talents across the boards and making uh, heroes a little bit more unique. But I'll just, uh, I'll leave it at that there. But yeah, yeah fun I'm... stuff, match. Get your invincible mounts, everybody, if you can't get them in World of Warcraft. Don't even talk to me about that. The worst part is I have to go bonk my boy every single time, and he doesn't <laughs> drop it. And I'm like, Artie, please. And he's like, no. <laughs> uh, and then other than that, I want to also shout out the uh, late night face check. Uh, Murda, the uh, founder of Regen, his bot is up uh, right now on uh, the YouTube channel there. And then Jigsies, yours premieres tomorrow. Uh, yeah. anything, anything you want to say about your interview with Valkymer? Uh, yeah, I didn't know when we were going to start the game. So when I go to the VOD, he's like, have you guys started yet? Are you going to start soon? I was like, eh, and now we're two season or two episodes in. So yeah. like solid planning on my part. Good job, man. Uh, the answers to my questions might shock you. So go and, Ooh, okay. and, and watch that. Like, I, I feel super buzzfeed. Like number eight will shock you. Who does Jinx you want to go to dinner with? Like, oh yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> see a clickbaity uh, thing. We need to give Valk yeah. on that. Clickbaity. Yeah. So I know there were there was talks about maybe you getting on there as well. So hopefully we'll get to see that yeah. soon. Even though you are Ooh. a Savannah sympathizer. I am, and then that's probably who I want to go to dinner with. So right there's one question out Ooh. there. <laughs> I like to double down on my yeet vote for uh, Dex. <laughs> and we'll have to ask Key later. Make it because yeah. <laughs> we made it a whopping one week, everybody. We did it. <laughs> I do have two notes right. real quick. Okay. Um, note mm -hmm. one, for those that uh, are playing right now, you no, you are not going crazy. Diva's medallion does move back and forth if you try to reposition it from the sixth slot because the game hates us. That's right. Yeah. Uh, and two, my favorite new thing uh, with, the, with the, both of you as uh, casting is watching... The dog and the kids of Dax meander back and forth behind his uh, green screen. It's really actually <laughs> entertaining because it happens way more. I don't know if anyone could hear it, but it happens like probably the entire time. It's like almost the entire time. So it's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then I guess, yeah, since Linehouse, you were in here, like just shout out thanks to you and uh, as a producer and key as the head analyst uh, for really putting this show together and just letting Jinxie and I just come on here and have fun and uh, just talk about just throw, throw a little bit of shade weekly. I feel like, yeah, the last week was like, ha ha, like we're on Nexus Edge. So cute. And Line was like, don't do any of that. Now this week we're just like, all <laughs> of the players can you know eat rocks like we will fight you at the denny's we'll fight yeah, you right. in the mcdonald's like <laughs> we're just full it, on expecting it just is nexus rush. edge it is nexus edge we need to be edgier obviously right exactly <laughs> i'm gonna like talk so much crap and then like 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 three weeks from now i'm gonna be shopping for like kale chips or something at walmart and someone's just gonna like punch me in the eye and i'm gonna deserve it okay so i'm seeing these questions Square in up, chat Evan. I'll let you go. I'll let, okay. so I know. I know you may not may not, may not, ugh, may not be seeing this. 
Uh, to let everyone know, we will, we just haven't done it yet, we will start off like we did a little bit last season. We will cover each division at some point throughout for the show. Uh, we aren't doing it for the first few weeks because we're letting everything kind of settle in a little bit. But every division will have one episode of Edge uh, dedicated to it. For every division. Yes, I said that awesome. right. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to talk about it more, guys. We promise, like Line said. But just uh, right now, um, I mean, you pretty much hit it all. But you can ask us, like I see right here, oh, what do we think of the wind train? Like, that's an awesome name, first and foremost. And I'm super excited to learn more about them. But like right now, I think that's a new team. And I just, I don't know. So if you ask me right now, what, what do you think, Jigsy? I'm like, well, they're in NGS. And that's the best I can tell you. So if they're not using the train mount, I don't like them at all. I'll put that out that's there. That's fair. If you use the train mount and the pumped up Pato, you can get the Pato on the train, by the way. So, like, that's a fun bug you can play with. Yeah, mount's just busted. And if, if you it use so it on Garage, it makes it look like he's got boobs. So, mm -hmm. there, there's your fun fact. Big gold boobs. Um, Pointless stat of the day getting thrown in here. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I, I think that's it from anybody, unless anybody has any, any closing thoughts, questions, comments, concerns. I am good. I apologize for my children and dogs, though. I, I like your children keep... and dogs. They're quality <laughs> glad content keep... memes. Yeah. yeah, I'll keep them in the in behind the curtain. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully, you've gotten an edge on your competition. And we will see you next week. Later, nerds. Peace.